If you've been drawn to the actuarial career because you want to make a good salary and you love math, well, you might be in for a surprise. The actuarial career is for someone with a lot of ambition, determination, and drive. It's for someone that wants to better themselves every single day. So that means that the actuarial career isn't necessarily right for every single person that loves math and wants to make a great salary. But for a select few people, I mean a very select few, the actuarial career is the perfect and it's basically a dream career. The actuarial career has tons of benefits. It's often known as one of the best best math careers out there. So in this video, I'll narrow it down to the top three reasons to become an actuary. And if these are things that you are looking for in a career, then you'll know you're in the right place. I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator Community, where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates and get their first actuarial job without an internship. Top reason number one, and by the way, these are in no particular order, is that you're not number crunching all day long. The actuarial career is often perceived as a career where you will be on your calculator all day long, doing calculations day in and day out. Honestly, I think that's sometimes what turns people away from the career, but there is more to it than that. There is the business side. When I was going through my schooling, I went and got my actuarial science degree at the University of Waterloo. I thought that the actuarial career was just math all the time because that's all that I was doing. But when I started to work in real actuarial positions, I started to realize that there's a lot more to the actuarial career than just calculating numbers all day long. It's often about understanding the bigger picture. You're considering the impact of different scenarios. You're trying to figure out why you're getting the results you're getting, even if you can't necessarily prove it mathematically. You're doing a lot of brainstorming and problem solving. You need to understand interest rates, market fluctuations, investing, programming, data analysis, business strategy. You need to understand how your work is influenced by outside factors that you can't control. The higher level understanding you have, the better actuary you'll be. For most of us, although we love math, we do not want to be sitting at a calculator all day long punching in numbers constantly. So the business aspect of the actuarial career really adds some depth to a career that might be kind of math overload otherwise. Top reason number two is that you get to think outside the box a a lot. When you're working in actuarial positions, you're going to find that for the most part, you're not doing the same mundane tasks week after week, day after day. Of course, there are going to be repetitive times in some actuarial positions, but usually those repetitive times are broken up with more unique and different projects that you've never worked on before. For example, when I was working in my valuation position, we would have about five days every single week where we'd be doing the same tasks for month end. So that same five day period would be filled with the same tasks every single month. But between those monthly repetitive task times, we were working on different projects and doing things that we had not done before. This means that you're getting to constantly learn new things and apply your knowledge and skills in unique ways. It really gives you a sense of accomplishment. It gives you self-fulfillment. Originally, I thought that I would be relying on actuarial exams to challenge me, but through working in actuarial positions for so long, I really realized that the work is actually really challenging. It's mentally stimulating. And that's one of the things I loved about the actuarial career. If you want a career that is challenging and mentally stimulating every single day, give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Top reason number three is that tons of doors are going to open for you even beyond the actuarial field. The actuarial career is one of the best to develop your business skill set, your mathematical reasoning skill set, your professional skill set. Because of that, actuaries often have a very great business sense and that causes them to move up the corporate ladder to higher and higher levels if they want to. Actually, many of the CEOs and upper level management in an insurance company consist of actuaries. But what is even more reassuring is that the skill set that you will gain in actuarial roles is going to be able to open up opportunities for you beyond just the actuarial career. With your experience and knowledge from actuarial roles, almost any business, math, finance position is not out of the question. That means that not only are you going to have great career stability in the actuarial field, but it also means that you can have confidence that you're going to be employable and be able to make a decent salary no matter what. For me, my career advanced as I gained more experience. I went from intern to full-time, then I passed more exams. The career to management level was very clear. Then I ended up starting a business, helping future actuaries get their first actuarial job. And the skills that I use in this new entrepreneurial 
actuarial career were definitely ones that I had gained while going through my own actuarial journey. So this is not an exhaustive list, of course. There's other benefits like the salary and the work-life balance. I've done videos about those too if you want to learn more about that. Here's a salary one and here is a work-life balance one. And there are also things that you may not like about the actuarial career. I've done a video about that too. I will link it right here. So that is all for today. Go watch those videos next and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.